Actually, this uh, topic should be discussed with our senior brother. And today, if you just have a look in our live session, there are my two elder brother and on uh, Sar from uh, outside of Bangladesh. And I think uh, yeah. it's really quite amazing part and amazing uh, time for me to anchor. And this is just an opportunity. I mean, uh, this is this is like a dream for me to anchor a live session where I have amazing person uh, around me. That's cool. And I'm I'm uh, thanking all of them on again. Really thankful and also thankful to almighty alhamdulillah uh, for this live session and i'm going to start our live session but uh, actually uh, uh, there are uh, two mem uh, two guests who are new in this uh, live session so first of all i want to uh, introduce myself uh, this is abdul rahman uh, 18 years old and i'm a student of uh, science uh, especially i am a student of uh, intermediate uh, second year uh, in a science group and today uh, i'm really uh, really excited sometimes i lost my voice to how to discuss or how to have conversation on that but i will try my best that a kind of problem and i started this lab session for my student actually i teach on uh, only one student on online uh, for okay. uh, having more uh, having more uh, experience in english that's quite amazing and i actually enjoyed that and for that region i started uh, some episode and this is going to be uh, 11 episode especially <laughs> for uh, speaking test this is not a speaking test i just have conversation and that's quite amazing and today i just uh, add some uh, topic that is depression and you know so i have done my uh, uh, introduced part so it's time for us to go back to all of you for your introductory part and i'm pretty excited to know that so first of all i would like to go our tushar imran nazir father for his uh, introductory part uh, thanks for having me mate um i was actually you know waiting for that thing to to be joined in and i was pretty much I mean, I, I'm I'm normally you know someone who deals with IELTS and stuff like that, but never actually you know came on a conversation like this to talk about something. I mean, one of the daunting tasks and one of the you know serious matters, and which is pretty much common in the society. And I mean, not just in the society; it's it's for the whole world. So it's a great thing. It's a great opportunity for me to be you know with you guys. And thanks for having me once again. And I could see, I know uh, Sai, the Yemen, him very well. He's, he's been pretty much, you know, on Facebook. And so it's great to see people like him. And um, Mitchell or Michael, I, I don't know. It's, it's Mitchell, right? Hey, Michael, uh, you can call me Michael. Michael. Uh, all right. So Michael is yeah. from Poland and um, one of the great countries of Europe. So it's quite of a great opportunity for me to be able to, you know, go on a live with you guys and you know, share some of my thoughts about the, like the, 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 the matter we have uh for for talking about so thank you so much for for taking me in welcome brother it's really it's my pleasure but uh, today <laughs> i just miss on information actually that there are two elder brother our nadir brother and my yamin brother and these two person was my in, uh, inspiration to change my accent and <laughs> at the beginning my uh, english i was thinking that accent is literally difficult part for me but uh, for their video on facebook i follow them on facebook and i uh, get some lesson and that's quite amazing and that's why today i can speak a little bit confidently and uh, that's quite amazing and i'm really uh, very odd to both of them so it's time for us to go back to our yamin brother for his in introductory part that's quite amazing 
Let's go. Cool. Oh, sure, sure. You know what? Like everybody else, I'm pretty excited to be here. I didn't really know like the you know the live was gonna be on on social exactly. media. I was like, I was like, I was like, okay, maybe the conversation is gonna be held on Zoom or probably in somewhere else. Yeah, it's I don't know, like what else can I tell you? you guys already have said a lot of things. Um, we all are pretty <laughs> excited. And uh, yeah, I know to share, uh, you know, before I, I also know you previously, I, you know, it, it, it is the first time for me to That's just nice. um, see Michael here. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's actual honor, you know, I'm, I'm totally honored to be here. That's the lovely stuff, and, isn't it? To talk about <laughs> yeah, like everybody else, what else can I tell you guys already have said a lot of things like, <laughs> yes, yeah, things I you. can tell, right? I can talk like, yeah, we're, we're all excited to kick up the conversation and let's see how far we can go. Yeah, it was just a dream for me to have a live session with two of my brother, and I I was following them on Facebook. And no, I was you know what? That, you don't, you don't uh, have to. Be. <laughs> well, no, no, you know, like we're not superstar, okay? We're just, we're just. <laughs> no, 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 but uh, you, both of you superstar. are superstar to me, and uh, I'm pretty thankful to our uh, honorable sir, uh, Rushin sir, because Rushin sir is one of the inspiration for me because he always inspire me. I learn a lot of lessons because he also a teacher. I, especially for German language and you know how to teach people about different language so that's quite amazing and I'm pretty thankful to Almighty Creator for meeting both of, uh, all of you guys here thank you that's great actually I'm going it's back okay. to it's our okay. uh, Russian sir uh, to get uh, his introductory for all of us because I know him a lot but I want to know once again so Russian sir it's your time to introduce yourself okay to you. my name is Michael what can I say I am from Poland and actually I am a teacher I am into this stuff, you know, I am of the opinion that you have to immerse yourself in the language. Only in this way you can acquire, you know, the foreign language. And I am into playing chess. I like it a lot. And into listening to heavy metal and to prog rock music. And I like it a lot. Going to the gym three times a week is something I do, you know, regularly. Because, you know, health is the most important issue one can imagine. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. It's my pleasure for have that. Oh, it's time for us to start our first question because uh, we ha we are going to broadcast this live session very briefly because we have just a little bit time uh, before our evening prayer. So our first go uh, question is going to be like, what does uh, depression stand I'm, for? I've just got uh, a question, oh, Abdurrahman. Right. I mean, uh, yeah, sure, sure. Just, are, are you sharing this on Facebook Live? Yeah, yeah. This. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I haven't shared on uh, Facebook. I will share, inshallah. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, yeah. Come on, man! Like you, you. I've been so looking for far. it. I mean, I was like, really what, what the hell is that? Oh, this is anyway. on Facebook page. Yeah, yeah, this is on Facebook page, but I haven't shared this video on my Facebook profile. Okay, okay. I just mean that. Got right. it, bro? Okay, it would be great. Uh, sure, it would be sure. great if you also share on your Facebook profile so that we can also, you know, uh, tag yeah. ourselves. In. Okay, okay, I will share. I will share. But actually, yeah. I have a problem. If I uh, leave this to uh, to share the video, uh, I think there will be a problem because uh, first okay, time so, I have so, okay. experience. Let's okay, carry it off. Share. Thank you so no much. Worries. Oh, all right. Okay, okay. All right. Just, so, just, just um, with the ball rolling. Yeah, sure. Thank yeah. you so much. So our question is like, what does depression stand for? But I don't want to ask you first because I'm here to be a student of all of you. So first of all, I will answer the question and all of you are here to uh, <laughs> examine me, observe me, how I did, because I know I'm, I'll am i be inco uh, incorrect, but I will try my best as, a, as all of it you. It doesn't student. matter. So, you know uh, don't, yeah, say, sure. don't say your answer. No worries you, about you it. You were incorrect. You yeah. just, you just right, didn't right. even start it. Yes, sure, sure. Let's so, let, let us hear. Also, uh, yeah. First of all, uh, that that term depression uh, denotes a very common mental disorder. Actually, I think this is not a, a disorder. This is a disease like coronavirus. And every person, uh, if you ask any people very deeply and very attentively, everybody has this problem. They are facing depression, and I think uh, from this lab session with my elder brother and also my sir, uh, who have great experience more than me because they have a very bigger experience than me. So I think this is a perfect time for me to have conversation with them with this topic. This is a critical topic, and I think we should have conversation. So depression stands for that. That I mean, and uh, this is a uh, this is a biggest disease like coronavirus. Everybody experienced that from my side. That's all for uh, that's all. So it's time for me to go back our Tushar uh, brother for the answer. That will be amazing. All right. What I figured out, like 
well, let's be honest. I'm not a you know psychiatric or something like that, so I don't have any clear idea about it. <laughs> so the thing, what what I figured out, and I have also you know faced that sort of period in my life, and it's a persistent situation when we deal with you know a mental disorder, and it's it's a, it's it's kind of a sad or dark feeling that we actually deal with for a, for a long period of time. So it, it, it is something that lasts, lasts for a long time and, and, and it actually, you know, puts us in a situation when we feel like being quite skeptical and we don't feel like mo moving on and we, we just feel like, okay, keep ourselves in the corner of the room and don't go out and don't feel like active, don't feel like the, 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 the you know, sense of satisfaction by doing something. Even we enjoy something back in the day. I mean, we used to enjoy something back in the day, but when we feel like depressed, we we no longer feel to you know push ourselves harder to uh, to go and just explore ourselves into the world and do something better for ourselves as well as for the yeah. society. So depression is something. This term is normally sounds pretty normal, just like depression. Oh, okay, these days. Even someone doesn't, you know, put a like on your Facebook profile, you, you, you go on depressed. I mean, you go on depression. But the thing is, mate, yeah. let's, I mean, let's be clear. Depression is something that lasts for long, you know, a huge amount of time. And you deal with yeah. it for, for, for like no one else. You know how much painful it is. And it's not just a matter of giving a like on Facebook, putting a love on Facebook profile or just, you know, just put a, lovely comments so that's all about i think depression yeah exactly i'm agree with you totally and it's time for me to go back our yamin brother for the answer uh, so just do it sure 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 depression as uh, you know as tushar he bro already said about a lot of things depression well according to me of course it goes without saying that depression is a mental disorder and uh, and I, I you know I strongly believe that there is a reason for anybody to feel depressed. Okay, so once in a lifetime, I think I I can I you know according to me I can read it out. I can tell at least once in a lifetime, eight out of ten people experience that. So like yeah, exactly. he said, like he, well, but uh, nowadays if somebody says I'm depressed, we don't really you know what. Always think like, okay, he probably depressed. Maybe, maybe he broke up or she broke up with somebody, or maybe there, there's a lot of reason for, for a person can, can get depressed. Well, now depression is a, um, a feeling of sadness, or or feeling of, I can say like there's there's a couple of times when I feel depressed. Well, according to my experience, I feel a little doomed and I feel a little down. It even it it makes you feel like well, there are certain things. That you don't want to like but you used to like before okay and also it can it, it can cause tremendous change in your life when you feel depressed even there are some report i i i even seen that i have even seen that that uh, in some people depression can lead them to kill themselves you don't really understand exactly. like, how critical the situation can get if a person gets depressed well now you can feel oh, you can you, even you can feel depressed if you are let's say you, you just lose your job use a you know you maybe uh the lab you know the person you love just let's say you or she dead you, you can feel that it's really it's really bad it's not not only bad for people to feel little down but also it can be very very um uh, very different well there there are there are some some time according to me like when i, I had a problem let me let me tell you a little little story so you, you guys can understand about it yeah. so even it happened to me so there was a time i was having a very tough time and i had a disorder well i was every t every night when i before I go to bed and i was i was i was feeling so depressed and even i thought maybe i'm gonna die and why did i really think about that well i thought about it is because because of the depression, because that what makes me thought maybe there are something is going on with your body. You're not going to stay stay uh, much longer. But there's a, you know to talk about depression. There's a lot of things that we have to pull up in together to figure it out how you can feel it or how you can even uh, get rid of yourself from de you know depressions. So there's a lot of things that we actually can talk about. Even um, even even to talk about 
how you can get depression or how you can get it out of your system. Well, according to me, I think it is probably it takes two weeks if a person tries or to get rid of the depression. Exactly. If he or she can only see about the positive side. So I don't know like how what else can I tell you, but this is all I can yeah. tell about depression. We got many points, so that was amazing, and that's why I prefer discussion on the topic because uh, whenever you, we are having conversation uh, with uh, our elder or our uh, senior brother, that time we will have many information like that, and that was quite amazing. I got many information that was totally unique to me. So it's time to go back our honorable guest, Rushin sir. So sir, try to answer that. Well, honestly, I don't have that much experience with depression because I have never been depressed in my life. There were some periods of sadness because everyone experienced something like this in one's life. But I'll, I see a lot of people, depressed people, who has lost, uh, lost touch with reality in such a way. I think it is all about imbalance in the biochemistry in your brain. It can be something that runs in the family. I mean the genes, for example, if the grandfather, grandfather, grandma were depressed, there is a great likelihood that you are going to be depressed as well. Because we are just, just biochemical machines, we have to be aware of this. But there are a lot of thoughts we get identified with and we repress many thoughts and they go into the depths of our subconsciousness and in this way it can operate it can ruin uh, be harmful detrimental to our own body without us being aware of this because something happens in us we are not aware but i am of the opinion that uh, poor people uh, they get really depressed because every day they have to fight for the food for the water uh, for the money and i see a lot of depressed rich people and it is, uh, I am curious about this, you know, because those people have everything. They are not able to appreciate uh, everything that they got in life. They want more and more. And depression for me, it has to do with greediness. We are greedy. We want to uh, we want have more, to be more. We are not enough. It is just a mental game. We should be aware of this. This is my opinion. Yeah, exactly. I agree with the all stuff. of you, and that's the point. So uh, we are going back to our another question because uh, we have to answer more than many questions. So that's good. So this is just pretty simple question. What can be the main catalyst of depression? So first of all, I want to go first that, uh, that I think uh, from my side or from my perspective, I can say the main catalyst of depression is uh, mental weakness, or I can say don't uh, don't becoming. Uh, irre uh, uh, irreligious person. Oh, sorry, uh, irreligious person. Uh, that can uh, that can be the main catalyst of depression. Because uh, if we just uh, follow a little bit about our religion, uh, in our Quran there is a uh, there is a chapter called Ad Duha. Uh, I mean Ad Duha. If we just read this Quran, uh, this uh, chapter very well, and uh, then we'll get the solution. And where our Creator uh, explain one thing that. Uh, Depression, uh, this is very common, and how to get rid of it, or what is the cause, or how to avoid it, there is a full explanation. So uh, from that, we can say that if anybody become a very religious, uh, he can avoid depression. So I can say that uh, irreligious uh, will be the main catalyst of depression. I think so. Uh, so it's time for me to go back our Russian sir first about the answer. You know, there can be many reasons. For example, a toxic relationship even. If someone is bullying you at school, at your working place, it can be something like this. As I already said, by the imbalance biochemistry in our brain can be the major reason that we, have, we don't have the connection you know, with our inside being. Actually, we are so much identified with the compulsive aspect of our mind that we have forgotten that we are something much deeper than this. And this can be the catalyst of depression, that we, we have something in our genes that make us really greedy, uh, that we think that we are not enough. But I think the major reason can be that we have created a picture of ourselves, you know, in our head. The picture is called ego, uh, the mental identity. And actually, this, this picture is quite uh, fictitious. And we try to empower this fiction. We try to fight, you know, 
for the safety of this fiction. And this is the major reason, you know, we have to get rid of this fiction as soon as possible and uh, to end the relationship with oneself. There is not two. I am only one. And there is nothing that I like myself, I hate myself. This is just illusion for me because there is only one person, one being, actually. And the end of the relationship with oneself, for me, is the end of depression. Yeah, that's an amazing point. So it's time for me to go our another new brother. So uh, my brother, please introduce yourself to start our uh, conversation, please. Uh, I am mentioning our new joiner, outcomer. Uh, I don't you know mean his me? name. Yeah, yeah, you sure, mean sure. Me? please. Yeah, yeah, uh, please right. introduce yourself. Uh, hi, hi, guys. How are you doing? We're yeah, doing great. Mind. I hope if you are fine, I guess. This is my first time to be with you. Uh, my name is uh, yeah, Mr. Sure. Max. I guess you have seen my name below, my picture. Yeah, yeah. All right. And really, I'm too proud for having me today. And such is amazing and outstanding day. Yeah, brother, I want to tell you very briefly about our live session. We are going, we are just having live session on topic that is called depression. So thank you so much for joining us right now. So we are talking about what can be the main catalyst of depression. So our two, uh, two guests have answered that. So it's time for me to go back our uh, Tushar brother for the answer, please. All right, but when it comes to talking about the you know reasons behind being depressed, I figured out the fact that the first one actually comes, you know, is um, genetic stuff. If anyone of your family is depressed for a for a you know, long period of time, and you have also been witnessing the fact that you know, this man is actually dealing with something like that, and it, you, you don't understand what's the main reason behind that person being depressed gradually you also get into the stream of being depressed like you, you you don't understand the fact what's happening and this is actually you know creating a chaos in the whole family so generally it leads to someone else to be depressed as well in the family and i would say like some sort of um physical health problems sometimes i would i would directly refer to uh, some sort of you know private physical problems that is normally, I mean, that are normally not something that you can share with our, someone out of the family, sometimes even in the family. What happens to us is if we're having a very personal problem, we feel like not even telling that matter to our parents. And that's when life becomes real yeah, hard, right? Point. Like we, we don't, we can't talk about it. And, and, and when we go to some of our friends, Pretty much most of, most of the friends actually deal us, I mean, you know, uh, lead us to some sort of bad stuff, which make us even more depressed. So, yeah, these two stuff and also some sort of you know, experiences that we got back in our childhood, like, you know, being abused or being bullied by some of our friends in the school life or something like that. If I talk about one of my experiences, uh, I, you know, sing a lot. I, I, I mean, let's, let's not actually being you know i mean let's not be boast about it but i used to sing a lot back in the school life and i used to get all the time from as a fast prize so wow. one time i you know sang a song and got the third prize and i started crying and there was oh. no freaking anyone to you know come over to me and just say hey You've been, you know, holding the fast prize for over three or five years now. So let's not be depressed right now. Let's wait for the next year and show your caliber and stuff. So I found everyone was mocking me. Everyone was, you know, dragging me down. I said, mate, ah, oh, I can't go farther. So later on, I got more depressed. So see that sort of, you know, experiences always daily. I mean, you know, lead you to lead you to some sort of um, depression. And some life experiences too, uh, especially being un unemployed. If you don't have any em employment and you, you don't have money or something like that. And sometimes, you know, the sir, uh, Michael said that end of a relationship, it could be with your, uh, one of your best friends, one of your, not one of you, with your girlfriend. <laughs> so <laughs> it could be anything, something like that. So that sort of stuff always lead us to depression. So these are the, I mean, you just can't talk about a single catalyst or single reason why people 
get into depression there are so many reasons so these are some of the top i mean top reasons why people actually deal with that sort of bloody stuff i mean sorry for my language but it's uh, i mean yeah, it's it's a thing great. that everyone everyone hates <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's really great. But uh, I want to tell you one thing. You will be totally uh, very exclaimed about me because you see me about Islamic dress, but I am not a student of madrasa and I haven't gone any madrasa for any lesson. But mm -hmm. I'm just uh, one thing, uh, one story that I want to share that is totally irrelevant, but I have to tell you. Uh, I also sing in my high school level. I actually uh, changed my mind when I was a student of class 10. That time I was thinking that how about comparing two uh, culture like Arabic culture and Western culture. That time I was just comparing and that's my own survey and that's my just uh, own stuff that was working a lot. So that I was thinking that uh, whenever I was wearing, uh, I was maintaining uh, Western culture, that time I can easily uh, engage myself or commit myself any sins very easily. Exactly. But whenever exactly. I'm just, yeah. uh, that's, uh, whenever I'm just maintaining Arabic culture, that time many people ask me, oh, hey, bro, are you Hujur? Are you a memorizer of Quran? Are you a student of uh, Madrasha? You have to a be sort of in a judgmental you situation, yeah, like exactly. everyone starts exactly. judging you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the point. So that time I was having many questions. So that time I was thinking that it's high time for me to be correct, to be uh, to maintain Islam very properly. So that time I was thinking that uh, only dress, just my every single thing. Now I have to pay five times pair regularly. If I miss on pair, my friends, even my mom uh, tell me, hey, hey, Abdul, you maintain Islam well. You show people that you are very religious, but you miss two days for your pair. What is going on, bro? Yeah. Uh, what is going on, son? So that I was thinking that only dress changes every single thing. So that I was thinking, yeah. how about maintaining uh, Arabic culture? And it helps me to satisfy Almighty. So that is the change. And I think th there is another, uh, 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 I mean, interconnected with depression. So whenever a person uh, select a wrong way to live their life, so they, that time they easily become depressed. So that's the good point you have told us. That's cool. And I'm going back to exactly. our uh, Yamin brother for the answer. Thank you so much. Well, I just barely have something to tell you guys because those guys, you know, our previous speaker, they already have talked a lot about like why could be the main reason of depression. Well, according to me, I think there are two catalog you need to think of first physically and second, mentally. So in physically, there could be many reasons. Well, let's talk about physically. Well, now in physically, let's say if you're disabled, because you know what, like think about normal people and think about disabled people. So like the normal people, they're being able to do everything by normally, but there are some people who are not being able to you know, do things normally. You know, what we call, we call them, we call them disabled, right? So that, I mean, that type of people can, often feel depressed because they probably think or pray to Allah, why on earth am I like that? And why can I, you know, can't I do everything like other people are doing? Well, and also, Dusha brother, he also um, mentioned that there are, there are a couple of things. Let's say you've got some problem that you can't share with anybody. You are just keeping it to yourself where you can feel depressed because you are not really. And you, sometimes we can't really get our, you know, get our head around like, where should I go? To seek for help like you know this is where people get helpless because you don't have anything to do other than keeping it to yourself then how would you react you're depressed now to talk about you know let's say mentally uh, or it, well to talk about mentally well you can't feel depressed when you lose job when you um lose something that you really like or love well now and also you can feel pretty bad um you know when it when it actually uh works in mentally Even I heard some people didn't wear our medicine when people take, they, they feel depressed. I mean, they feel depressed. I don't know like how that thing works because it happened to me one time. Well, uh, that's yeah. why I'm telling you that. But there, th these two, I mean, to talk about like why it could be the main reason, there, there's a lot of things to bring up to the light to let everybody know like why people get depressed. Even if you feel you are not um, you're, you're not worthless, you were helpless, you can feel pretty depressed too. Right? Yeah, exactly. This, this, there is a cat. Yeah. This is how, yeah, this is how it really works. But, you know, according to me, I mean, these are the main points. Like, if you know how, 
how to how that, like how it works and mentally and physically. I mean, these are these are the two main reasons like people why get so depressed. Yeah, exactly. So it's time for us to go back uh, our new brother Max, Mr. Max. So brother, please yeah. try to say something about it. Uh, all right. So uh, I do agree with the person that who has just spoken before me, which is uh, have saying that and uh, divided the problem of depression into two categories. Uh, one of them, which is mental problems and physical problems. Yes, that's right. In terms of physically, because there are some people that are somehow disabled and they have got some problems in terms of uh, their shape, in terms of a lot of things that concern it. Also, there are some uh, physical, uh, psychological problems. Uh, because if you dig deeper at the meaning of the depression, which is the feeling, it's just a feeling of uh, a hap uh, unhappiness or feeling of un uh, hopelessness. So when you are somehow yeah. hopeless, you got depressed and this feeling it's may gonna take with you a long time in order to avoid it because it's just a feeling and feeling is somehow what psychological so if you want to solve such problems uh, those people who feel depressed or people who can i say them are depressors they should go and uh, have a meeting with psychologists and it's supposed to be a frequent meeting uh, with the psychologists after that they're going to solve the problem easily because I have just come and I found just uh, the question below, uh, in front of me, which is the main uh, reasons for depression. I appreciate yeah. it. And also, yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, it's my pleasure to have your answer. Thank you so much. So it's time for us to uh, uh, jump into the um, another next question. Can religions activities eliminate depression? So all of you have answered this, it uh, very properly, but I want to answer just a little bit uh, deeply that actually, uh, actually religion. Oh yeah, exactly. I uh, I also say that religion can uh, it religions activities uh, can eliminate depression because in Quran. So you know, uh, especially as a Muslim, there is a uh, scripture that is called Quran and in Quran there are 114 uh, chapters and one of them is uh, Surah Duha, I mean Ad Duha and in that Surah, if I tell you about the uh, summary very briefly, uh, when uh, you know, uh, uh, it, uh, Holy Quran, whole Quran takes 23 years to come uh, down to our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by, uh, by our Creator through Angel Jibril. So uh, there was a gap and there was a many gap uh, at the time of coming down the whole Quran and the first uh, the very little bit longer gap was that when our uh, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was a little bit depressed and our Creator um, actually calm down this uh, chapter that is called Surah ad duha In that chapter, if uh, if you just have a look on that, you can see three things. The first one is the cause of depression. The second one is the how to get rid of depression. And the, th uh, the third of is what is the main reason of the uh, of the depression or why actually we become depression so as a uh, as you know uh, as a muslim we follow our prophet as a model so i think this surah duha is totally enough for us to uh, learn about how to uh, how to deal with depression and as a uh, as a, you know our prophet as a, our model so i think uh, we should follow that and I think every religious person can uh, deal with depression very properly. And that is the, just an example. I think so about it. Can, so can I just interrupt a little to, bit, some... like, yes, Abdul yes, yes, yes. if you just give me a bit of chance. I mean, yes, sure. that Go religious sp spirituality and stuff like that. I, I, I remember one thing just probably um, uh, back in 2019. Uh, I, I actually applied for, I mean, I mean, I, I sat for the house exam and got a good score, which was pretty much, you know, um, I mean, more than the requirement and stuff. And I applied to two different countries and got um, off letters from uh, four to five or six different universities, like some of the best universities in Finland and the UK. So um, wh when I was in the, I was in the edge of, you know, paying the tuition fee and I had four, around 40 to 45 person scholarships too in the first year of my university so i was on the edge of you know paying the tuition fee and then the lockdown came in i was totally devastated like i kind of you know left the education back here in i mean in, in this country i was i was totally you know imagining the fact that 
Like I, I'm in two cities in Helsinki, Finland, you know, walking through the street, making vlogs and talking to people and things like that. And also thinking about the London Bridge and, you know, Buckingham Palace and all those stuff were, you know, going in my head. And I was like, my life couldn't be, couldn't be better than this. Then I couldn't make it out there in the UK. So I got into a whole lot of depression and, and I was constantly trying to get out of this and later on i started i mean through the push of some of my loved ones i would say one of my friends who is i mean the best friend in my life she actually told me to do it although now you could say it's a girl or something like that but she pushed me and i do it i started doing it and then i'm not a proper practicer of islam and stuff i i can't you know read quran properly I, uh, I used, I mean, I was not used to, uh, you know, pray five, ten pairs and stuff like that. So I started going to the mosque five times. Getting up early in the morning for Fajr prayer was really a hard one for me. I was like, mate, no, let's not leave the bed and just take the prayer mat and stuff. So, but then I started doing it in the first couple of days or probably first, couple, uh, first week. I was pretty much devastated. I was, my, my head was always, you know, spinning around and, I couldn't, you know, keep my eyes open. Later on, I started getting into the, you know, stream of praying. And what I figured out is the sense of being able to talk to the God. Like I was talk, I was literally, I was feeling like, okay, there is someone who is listening to me. I can't share that matter. I mean, my family members already know that fact and whatever they were telling, I was like, okay, I know they're, they're somehow just, you know, giving me a bit of, um, motivation to hang in there and stay okay let's let's say all, all is well but when i w i started you know praying salah every single time i, I was feeling the sense of satisfaction that exactly. the almighty exactly. the creator is listening to me yeah and i know yeah, exactly. and i know that he's gonna you know make everything set for me so first of all the first thing you're gonna do is like what which religion you're from you should have the belief in god you yeah, should exactly. have this. That's the point. So that's that's all about it. Yeah, that's the point. And I also agree with that. So I think we have to end this live session very briefly. So we are going to uh, talk about the last question because we have already done all of the time because I know <laughs> that uh, there are many things to have, uh, have conversations. I've taken a huge amount of time. I'm sorry for this. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. So, uh, yeah, just a little bit time. So, uh, this is our last question. Uh, this question is like, is committing suicide a solution of de uh, depression and why not? So actually, to speak honestly, in Bangladesh, recently we have seen a case that is called, I mean, Mohsin, uh, uh, Mohsin uh, Ahmed, uh, but I'm not pretty sure about the name. Russia University? Uh, is, no, no, no. This is uh, our relatives of our actor, Riyadh. Riyadh. Uh, All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Father-in-law. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. This person was commit uh, was committed suicide for depression. And uh, today, I think uh, from this uh, question, we will have a great answer. Uh, according that, according to our present con uh, 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 consequence, so I think it will be better. So first of all, I want to go our Russian sir for the answer first. Yes, when it comes to the previous question, I would like to talk a little bit about this. Because uh, it depends on the religion. If the religion uh, generates a lot of unconsciousness, identification with thought, then there is no use at all. But we, if we have religion that is, you know, bringing us to our own being, which is beyond the contamination of, uh, uh, you know, a society, then it can be of use, of course. Because there are many people who don't believe in God, they are not depressed at all, they are quite happy. Uh, I know a lot uh, of people who believe sir. in God. Uh, just a minute. And they are... Uh, uh, excuse me, sir. Yes. So there is a uh, there is a recent survey on Cambridge University Press where we uh, we have seen our article and I have the link. I I will uh, I will share that that link uh, say that uh, if uh, the person with religion is less victim of uh, committing suicide or victim of depression than the person having no religion. So that that's the kind this of true. thing we can yes, we yes, can okay. we can say or we come up with on point that religion is the main fact and our first priority should be religion. But I appreciate your uh, I appreciate your thought and I also respect that. And another another survey I want to tell you uh, who WHO World Health Organization they have also a survey recently and in that survey they say that seven lakh people every year die by committing suicide. So what are you talking about? So uh, go ahead, go ahead. 
Yes, you can send me the link. But the question is actually that <laughs> those people have lost touch with the inner being because I don't see any uh, really conscious people who are not contaminated by the compulsive thinking around me and they may commit suicide as well. But the fact is actually that I see a lot of people who are quite happy, uplifted, you know, without believing in anything. When it comes to suicide, this is not a solution as well, because we can compare the thinking to the clouds in the sky and our own being with the sky. And one cloud is deciding, you know, to kill the whole sky because something happened, you know, something that happened. And actually, I am not, um, I think this is a very bad solution because we need yeah. uh, some pills, for example, to balance the biochemistry in our brain. Because it is quite obvious that identification with thought is the main reason for suicide. I cannot imagine any aware, conscious being who is not identified with thought, so, so, uh, who is depressed, who is committing suicide. I cannot imagine so, at yeah. all. Yeah, I, uh, I'm actually sorry to interpret, uh, interrupt once again. That actually you you have told that that we have to balance. Oh, all right. So when a person have no religion, how he can or he or she can learn about balancing? Because religion is a collection of uh, lesson that help us to learn how to balance things. Because I have given yes. you a, a a clue that uh, Surah Duha in Quran, where we have learned about the balance, how to deal with depression, how to deal with uh, these types of this kind of stuff. So I think religion is the only one source that can help us to deal with that. So how are you thinking? I think you have uh, in Poland, in Europe, a lot of psychological books about psychology, how to balance the biochemistry, how to have a positive attitude. But actually, reading. The, the, the books and put it in, into practice Practice are two different things. Many people are reading books, you know, how to get rid of depression, religious books, non-religious books, and they cannot do this because the identification with the mind, you know, and these repressed feelings, emotions are much stronger than any clues. Yes, this is the yeah, fact. Yeah, yeah, there is a catch, and you get it right. So it's time for me to go our uh, Kamal brother. So Kamal brother, please introduce yourself very quickly and uh, jump into the point. Uh, OK, guys, how are you? How are you doing? You're doing great. Uh, actually, I came to greet you, OK? I came to greet you and see you. Really, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so happy so to see you, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, I just Thanks uh, for I getting just in, Mike. say all the best. Yeah. Huh? No worries about it. <laughs> yeah, uh, we right. got it. So it's time to go our uh, Nazi bro uh, brother to, un uh, to get the answer of it. So brother, try to answer it. All right, first of all, I, I, I would never say that suicide is a solution to depression because, yeah, I mean, first of all, you got to accept the fact that everyone in life, once in life, we, I mean, we deal with depression for sure. Everyone deals with depression, at least a short time of sadness, probably not the proper code of depression. Everyone, I mean, someone say I have never, you know, faced any situation like this, but sadness, I mean, little sadness, little period of sadness or something like that or darkness, everyone deals with it. So you should have the ability to accept the fact that everyone could deal with it. So I'm, I'm, I mean, actually, I'm no alternative to this. You should have the patience that somehow, somehow I will, you know, find out the matter of being able to get out of the whole situation, talk to people, express yourself. And like when it comes to giving some sort of advice, like how I dealt with the whole situation back in 2019, a few months back to uh, I, I got some of my exams and some situation, quite a bit of money problem too. Uh, then I got really into depression. I was like, what can I do now? So far, six stuff that I started, religious matter, not properly, but did a little bit. Then exercise this thing. Oh my gosh. I just don't yeah, know how to yeah. put this into what's but 10 to 30 minutes. A study shows 10 to 30 minutes of exercise could help you get out of the depressional situation and everything what you deal deal with. Not even yeah, exactly. se seven days a week, just just um, three to four days a week of exercise. Every single week, if you do that, it will, you know, fairly help you to get out of depression and everything. And then eat 
food, I mean healthy food, we actually eat pretty much most of the time. These days, normally, it has become just a common phenomenon of eating those, you know, junk food and fast food. But we got to have some fresh food that would help us, you know, build the Im- Im- immunity system and everything. And then go out, travel, I mean, try to go somewhere new ev- in every gap of two to three months. Even if you don't have that amount of money, just just go for a little stroll. Just go to the park. See some new people. Talk yeah. to new people. Arrange a meeting like this to talk talk about the situation that, that you're going through. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's what May I, I did. Point, brother? May yeah, I say sure. one point? You have told us, you have advised us to have good food. But if, if you just have a look in our present uh, market, uh, the price hike is going Let's on. Let's not talk about and, the market. Let's uh, not talk about the market. Contaminated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, contaminated as and, well as, you know, price high, like sky <coughs> skyrocketed. Yeah. But the thing is, like, you've got to deal with it. Somehow you've got to earn money and just have those foods. And yeah. I would all, and also say you've got to understand the responsibility. Yeah. When people actually suicide, I mean, commit suicide. I think they're somehow neglecting the sort of responsibilities they have towards themselves, themselves, and and and, and to, towards their family as well as to the society. So understand what sort of responsibilities you have. Try to maintain those responsibilities and don't spread negativity. Because when you commit suicide, there's so many. I mean, whole bunch of negative people around us. And when they yeah, see someone like, if 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 I commit suicide now, I have you know over. Uh, 600 friends, I mean, including my followers on Facebook. If I commit suicide, I know probably more than 10 people who do, I mean, commit suicide too. I can't do this. I can't let the society feel this way. So what I need to do is to be sensitive, be patient, have good foods, do a bit of exercise, show good things, notice good things around yourself. Like what, if you see, if you see, someone is you know slapping someone don't look at this look at someone who yeah. is okay, you know giving a bit of bit of you know yeah, illusion yeah. to someone it, just hugging someone embracing someone look at that thing don't yeah. take this okay, brother, happy on point all yeah, right yeah, so yeah, actually, that sort of thing actually, could help you yeah so but actually evening period is coming uh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, we have to end this live session very briefly so uh, is there anyone to have any uh, any uh, anything to say you can say because we are going to end this live session very quickly so uh, do you have any anything to say you can say right now so how about our yes. routine, sir yes i would like to say something yes depression okay, is a, a very, very big problem i yes. like what uh, said tushar i don't know if i mispronounce you. your name or not about healthy food Yes, this is quite important because it is all about the biochemistry in our brain, exactly, how we exactly. work. But I think the major reason for depression is uh, the lack of inner space as well. If you are so yeah. contaminated with the thought patterns and so on, for example, negative thinking. If you go into religion, for example, you know, our thinking can be modified in this way that we think about God, about good deeds and this way. And in this way, we can get rid, you know, of the negative thoughts. This is the solution we can have. But the major exactly. problem are the, just the thoughts, compulsive thinking. It doesn't really matter what we think about. Please if do we don't you. have this in, inner space of awareness, then actually it can uh, very easily, uh, for example, turn into depression. Because exactly. we are sleeping next to the garbage bin. Our mind yeah, with yeah. the compulsive so thinking sorry, is like a sorry. garbage bin. Yes. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I can right, answer right. once again. Actually, we are very sorry to in this live session right now, and we will have uh, more conversation in our upcoming live session on Friday, next Friday, inshallah. And I am here to invite all of you once again to join my live session next Friday. Nice. And next Friday, we will have a great subject to talk, to have conversation. I'm really thankful to all of you. And once again, and thanks very, for having me into. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone. Assalamualaikum. Nice Season. Welcome, assalam.